Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back doing a video that I never thought I would ever do, um, but here I am. And that is a second-hand buys haul. I don't know what I'm going to call this video, but basically I have been shopping in charity shops and car boots and online, and I've got some really great stuff, and I just wanted to sit down and share it with you all. I am and was the biggest snob when it came to second-hand things. I don't know why. I just turn my nose up at it and I look back and I just think, what a helmet? Like, why did I waste so much money on brand new stuff when you can get it all really good quality for second hand and a fraction of the price? I feel like everything that I've picked up are like gems hidden amongst the majority of the crap that you do find at car boots or at charity shops. But I've given everything a really good clean and I'm so impressed with everything that I picked up that I just wanted to sit down and share this with you. So everything that I have picked up is second hand. I can't believe I'm filming this video, but I hope you'll enjoy it. I have got a lot of things to show you. The majority of it is books. No, I'm gonna say it's either books or games. That is all I've got. But hopefully this will inspire you to go out to your charity shops or go to your local car boot because I've got some great stuff. So I'm gonna start off in order and just work my way down the list as to when and where I got things. So first of all, I have already shown these two items. I did a vlog a couple of weeks ago um, showing you what I picked up um, at a charity shop and the first thing is this Tell the Time Lotto by Orchard Toys. I'm not going to go into much detail about this because I've done it already on the vlog. So this is by Orchard Toys. If you're not familiar with Orchard Toys they are a classic like board game company. They actually manufacture these games local to me in Wyndham um, which is sort of on the outskirts of Norwich so it's a nice local thing as well to support even though they're nationwide i just really love their toys they're really colorful this should have been 7.25 i got this for 99p and then at the same time i picked up this book which is page tune the one that we all fell in love with like i said in the vlog that i showed this in this was a part of the zoella book club so i wanted to pick this up and i got this for 99p as well now a place where i always buy secondhand books online is worldofbooks.com. I always mention it in my videos. I'm not sponsored by them at all. I wish I was because that would be the dream. Um, but I just find that they're a really good place to get books from. I've done so many orders and out of all of my orders, only one has been bad. I contacted them and they sent me out a new one and just told me to give the other one to charity. So they're a great company anyway. So I got two items. The first one is Giovanna Fletcher. You're the one that I want. Um, this was two pounds. 59 or 79 around that mark less than three pounds with free postage this book is pretty much brand new there the spine's not really bent that's something i'm quite funny about on books um so the spine was really good pages aren't marked um so yeah i was really impressed with that I'm so excited because i absolutely love giovanna fletcher so for a second hand book two pounds 80 isn't that bad but compared to charity shops that are like 99p, it is actually quite expensive. And when I placed that order, I also got this. Now, this is going to be a part of P's book advent or in her Christmas Eve basket. I haven't yet decided, but this is the Usborne Tales um, Lift the Flap Christmas. I have got the whole collection of the Farmyard Tales. Of course I have. I have collections of everything. Um, I got that for her birthday or Christmas last year. I'll just quickly show you. Um, yeah, so this is the Farmyard Tales story set. I got this from the works this was cheap as well to be fair it was like black friday sale got it for maybe like 11 pounds or something and they've got like all individual books like paperback um they do actually do one whole book like of these books inside does that make sense like a whole bind up of the books wish i got that over this um but yeah so she's got that so I wanted to get the Christmas version and um, for her book advent. This retails at 9 99 and I got this for, again, either 2 59 or 2 79 um, And they've just got really nice flaps. So you've got multiple flaps here, like that. I don't know if you can see. I've got one there. You've just got loads of flaps and this is like mint condition. So I know P is going to absolutely love that. So that's going to go away for Christmas. I'll also quickly apologise about the lighting. It is vile outside. It's literally like it's winter. Um, so 
the lighting is a bit skew with, but I can't do anything about that. Next up, I went to charity shop shopping with Ellie. Had the time of my life, got some really good bugs. So the first one we went to um, was Bernardo's. Love Bernardo's, they're a really good charity shop. And I found another Orchard Toys. Um, this was only 50p. Um, and I really like the concept of this. It took me and Ellie quite a long time to figure out how it works. But you basically have a little spinner here. You spin it one to six and the dogs have spots on their back. So whatever number lands on, you then have to find the dog with the corresponding spots on its back. You turn it over. Let me show you. You turn the card over. So say I spun a number five. You then find the card with five spots. And then it's got one biscuit in the basket so it's the person with the most biscuits at the end if that makes any sense um for 50p i couldn't leave it there it's all like brand new condition apart from the box but p ruined the box when we we're in the shop anyway it's age three to six two to four players so that will just go away for rainy days for example like today but when she's older when i picked up this game i also picked up a dvd which i cannot find for the life of me i've just spent 15 minutes trying to find it amongst P's bedroom. You should see the state of it on the floor. But no idea where I put it. I obviously put it in a safe place and thought, yeah, I remember where that is. And now I literally can't find it anywhere. Part of me is worried that P's thrown it in the bin. I don't know where on earth it is. I'll let you know if I find it. Um, but that was the Snowman DVD. I was so happy that I found it because I wanted to buy it for her anyway for Christmas. Um, probably just to go in her Christmas Eve basket. I found it in the charity shop and it was only £1.25 so I was really happy about that and it's a special edition um, version of it. So I'll put a picture on the screen so you can see which one I got. Just wanted to update you. I found it! Just whilst I was putting everything away and charging up it was under the place where I didn't look. Shock. This is the one that I got and P didn't put it in the bin. £1.25. And I've also got peas bow in my hair. Yeah. Look at all of this. This is sneak peek. Look at all of this. I also went to a couple of other charity shops with Ellie and one of the first things I picked up was this. This is the Usborne Activities Christmas Cooking Book. I love this. I've seen this on someone's channel before. I want to say I've seen it on Claire Witt's channel. I'm not 100% sure. Um... But it's just great, like there's just really nice little recipes, iced gingerbread hearts, um, and it's just something that can grow with us I guess as a family and as P grows older and we have another one. I just think having a nice Christmas baking book is just a really good staple to have. This retails at 4 99 and I got it for 50p and it's like brand new. So absolute bargain. As soon as I saw it, I was like, that is mine. I'm really happy with that. And the last thing I got when I was shopping with Ellie was something that I wasn't going to get because it was priced at £2. And for me, £2 for something that I might not use is quite a lot of money for a charity shop. Um, but I got it anyway and I'm so glad I did because she actually only charged me 50p. I don't think she read the sticker. Um, so I got an absolute steal. So this is the Annabelle Carmel Small Helping Book. Um, it's got over 200 recipes in it. And the main reason why I got it is for the illustrations. I just, I just love it. Um, it's very 90s. So you've got like, it looks like hand drawn images. And then you've got loads of like these teddy bears spread out throughout the book. As you can see here, this is nine to 12 months. So it does loads of sections. So you've got babies and puree sections, and then you go on to the toddler section. Um, like I've mentioned before, I'm really keen to get P onto trying new things. Um, and then within the sections, they've also got other sections. So you've got like your meats, scrumptious snacks. You've also got a Halloween section. And then there's also a Christmas section in here. And I'm so chuffed with this. This retails, this is very old. This is from like the 90s. Retails at 10.99 back then, um, and I got it for 50p. And I just think it's really, really nice to have. So I was very happy with that. Next load of things I'm going to show you. It's quite overwhelming. It's quite a lot. And I went a little bit cray for Orchard Toys at a car boot. So let's start. I got loads of games from a car boot. And I'm so happy with everything that I got. So the first thing I got, Neil actually chose because P pointed it out. This is a jigsaw puzzle, three years plus. It's from Marks and Spencers and it's Ben and Holly. P loves Ben and Holly. The pieces are this size, so it's definitely something that she'll grow into when she gets older. All of the pieces are there. 
this is a two piece jigsaw set and each jigsaw has 25 pieces so we got that the lady wanted one pound 50 for it but neil haggled her down to a pound because that's what he does i don't haggle he did um so we got that for one pound and then the rest of the toys is orchard toys so we got these two from one lady so we've got where's my cupcake um, this is like brand new the instructions aren't in there but i've googled it and i've screenshotted it so i've got the instructions but you basically have to find your cupcakes so you turn it over and then that's your cupcake and then you have to turn over all the other ones i think there's six of each variety and they go on the plate i believe that's right these retail i want to say these go for like nine pounds fifty and she only wanted a pound for it again an absolute steal i would never sell anything for a pound but i'm glad she did because it's now in safe hands this is age three plus and two to four players and then the other thing we got from the same lady is this and this is the old mcdonald lotto now this is something that we'll probably play first this is from two to six and two to four players um pissed me off because not all the pieces were in it and i just don't understand why you'd sell something and not tell someone that all the pieces aren't in it this is the problem with car boots and secondhand stuff i take people's word for it and you shouldn't you should always double check luckily i contacted orchard toys and they're actually sending me out um the pieces that are missing to my house for free they offer a service where you can contact them and just say you're missing a couple of pieces and they will send it to you um you can just make a small donation to i want to say it's the east anglian air I don't know it's like a local charity um and you just make a small donation so i'm so happy that i'm able to complete this game and we can actually play it um so you basically have four cards um and then you've got the little animals and you have them face down you turn them over and you try and match it the first person that matches it wins then we went to another stall and we picked up three things from them again they were all one pound which is just crazy and they're all pretty much brand new so this is the orchard toys doll house shaped floor puzzle this is a 25 piece age three to six i will grab a piece for you this is just good to put away for when she's older it's quite a big one and then when she's old enough i can whip it out on a rainy day and we can just have a lot of fun playing this um i know i think a lot of people think i'm mad buying all of these things when she's only one and a half but she can grow into them and for the price i couldn't just leave them because i'm not prepared to spend 12 pounds 50 on a jigsaw puzzle when i can get it for a pound we then picked up greedy gorilla this has the batteries aren't working so i just need to replace the batteries which is fine so you have this little guy and you have cards like this and you poke them through his mouth and then you also have menus like this and you have to obviously find the food that corresponds on the card you get my drift it's all pretty much the same sort of concept just different animals and stuff so again for a pound i'm very happy with that this one is quite loved i think because of just of how much the box has been used but the actual pieces are all intact all really good quality so chuffed with that and then the one that i don't think has ever been used like the box is immaculate um is dinosaur race now neil's like oh it's quite boyish but it doesn't matter like i don't care about that sort of thing so this one you've got four dinosaurs you've got a jigsaw track i don't know what you do you've got a spinner you've got some dinosaur things you've got medals and stuff i don't know the concept of this one i haven't looked into it i have cleaned it all this is age three plus and again it's two to four players so really really happy with that it's like brand new it's crazy that someone sold that to me for a pound i feel really smug that i got all of this stuff really cheap and then the last game is one that again irritated me i wasn't going to get it because i'm not gonna um, i don't know if i should say this the family didn't look the best um, they were just sending a lot of crap um, and I saw this and I was like well I'm from Norfolk I really like the concept so I'll give it a go and it's Norfolk's fine food so obviously we live in Norwich so I just thought it'd be really good and educational for Pia she grows to know where produce comes from her county I just really like the concept of it um, you have this puzzle and it's like a board game and I've never seen like an Orchard Toys board game before um so you work your way around the map and you've got um little menu cards you have to collect everything that's on your menu card but you can only do it when you're walking around the board um i really like the concept of it but it's missing i want to say it's missing four pieces it's actually missing a lot more it's missing four pieces it's missing all of the dice and all of the little people like your little counters 
Um, and Orchard Toys no longer make it, so I can't even get the replacement parts. So it's really disappointing. I'm going to have to make the other ones that I'm missing. I'm going to have to like draw them on a bit of card and make some counters and find some dice. I just don't, I don't get why people don't tell you that it's not complete. Um, but it was a pound. It is what it is. You take a gamble. Of everything that I got, this was probably the worst thing. Um, but five out of six isn't that bad. So I got that one. And then on to some books for P. Obviously I had to get her some books because you know me. I love books. I love them for myself and I love them for her. So the first books I got were Pip and Posy. I don't know if you've heard of these. They are by Axel Scheffler. Um, this is the, I don't know if he's the author or the illustrator of the Gruffalo, um, Postman Bear, what, they've done so much together, Julia Donaldson and him, um, so I got these, we have already borrowed them from the library before, but the library had hardbacks, um, so she's now got the paperbacks herself, I believe there's six in the collection, so, you know me, I'm now going to be on the hunt to find the other paperbacks, she wanted a pound each for those, and we did pay one pound, we didn't haggle, Neil wanted to, but I was like, no, don't worry about it, um, so they're just really nice stories, they teach about manners and stuff, which one's this, this is the big balloon, so they teach about sharing and stuff like that, really nice illustrations, very happy with those, and it's, sort of like for the age range of two to three I think. She is still into her touchy-feely books at the moment, she doesn't really like sitting through stories, but because these ones aren't as long as a story, I think she'll really enjoy these. So you'll probably be seeing these around Christmas time. And then the other one is the Super Scooter. Um, this one is in a little bit of a worse condition. I just need to sell it, take that down, because if not P will rip the whole thing off. But there are no marks in the book. Um, so I can't grumble at all for that. So they were one pound each. Then I picked up this, which was a classic when I was small. I don't know if anyone remembers this. This is by Mick Inkpen. Mick Inkpen does the Kipper book. So I'm a huge fan of him as it is. He's done loads and loads of stuff, but I'm just a huge fan. And this is the Blue Balloon. I don't know if you can see, but you've got a kipper down there. Um, I got this for 20p. And I thought at the time, what a steal. Um, I flicked through it should have paid more attention because i don't know if you remember it if you did read it this should be a big balloon but as you can see it's been ripped in half <sighs> why do children do that to books like i don't get it like why are they so destructive that would break my heart if p ever did that to her stories so i don't really know what i'm going to do but it's 20p I still really like the story. It's a lovely story and there's still like more flaps and stuff in there. So it should have been 6 99 but 20p, I don't know. I might try and cut the page out. I'll read the story and just see if I can get away with cutting it out. Um, but we got that. And then the final book that I got for P was The Tiger That Came to Tea. I couldn't believe I saw this. This is like brand new. Um, and the woman was like, oh, I didn't know that she put that in there. And I was like, well, it's mine now. <laughs> and this is only 50p. I was so happy. I've wanted to get this for ages. We always get this out at the library. And to now own it ourselves, I'm just so happy. And this is by Judith Kerr. The only thing I got for myself is obviously a book. I find because I read such like a niche genre, I read YA quite a lot, young adult, like teen reads. There are never any books that I like and then I saw this one I have heard some things like this on the online booktube community and I just thought I'd pick it up it was only 50p and um, the spine is a little bit damaged but I can't grumble for 50p it's not really in bad condition at all um, and this is about Greek gods I believe I'll read the blurb and it just says when shy awkward Helen Hamilton meets Lucas Delios for the first time she thinks two things the first that he is the most ridiculously beautiful boy she's ever seen in her life and the second that she wants to kill him with her bare hands um an ancient curse means Lucas and Helen are destined to loathe one another but sometimes love is stronger than hate not all the gods themselves will prevent what will happen next so it just sounds interesting and the rest of the things I got are books for myself the next one is Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David. Don't know, not gonna pronounce it. It's this one here. 
Um, I picked this up on a whim. I got Neil to swing into a car boot whilst we're on the way to the beach. And I walked around and I wasn't going to leave without anything. So I saw this and I've never read a John Green before. I liked the film. What is the film called? Oh, I don't know what the film's called. What is it called? The Fault in Our Stars. That's it. Um, I liked the film The Fault in Our Stars. People do really like John Green, but they say that a lot of his stuff is quite repetitive. So I just picked this up because I've never read a John Green book before. He's done things like Paper Towns and Is It Looking for Alaska? So I wanted to give it a go. This is only £1. <sighs> and then my local charity shop, I got these. Um, one of them is, as you can see, it's very yellow but these are also white and um, let me just compare so you can see it's not smoke damaged this is what like a normal paperback looks like um and then this is what this one looks like it's not smoke damaged at all it doesn't smell like smoke but it's just i don't know why it's so off color um but i just showed you what it was and that is billy and me if you watch my book reviews you know how much i love this book i never owned it because i actually rented it from the library when I saw this, I just had to get it because I loved it so much. I'm so happy it's now part of my collection. Um, the spine's not bent at all. The only bad thing about it is that the pages are slightly yellow, but that doesn't bother me at all. So I'm really chuffed about that. That was only 99p. And then I picked up a collection. Of course I did. Well, I didn't. First of all, I picked up this one. And I really like the concept. I went on to Amazon and read up about the others. And I was like, oh my god, I have to go back. I have to go and get them. I need the collection. Blah, blah, blah. And I did. So they were all 99p each. And this one is called Christmas at Lilac Cottage. Um, and it just says, a perfect romance to curl up by the fire with. Which is what all of these ones say at the front. They feel great. I didn't actually own any Christmas books. So I'm so happy to have a few in my collection now. Um, I probably won't pick these up until November, December. I might make them like maybe a part of a book club. So if you guys are interested in some of these, give me a shout and we can pick one. Um, but they're all just like lovey-dovey, romancy stories around Christmas time. And I just really want to pick them up. So we've got Christmas at Lilac Cottage, Christmas Under a Cranberry Sky, and Christmas Under a Starlit Sky, all by Holly Martin. The only thing I don't like is that the pages are white. Um, and I find it very harsh on the eyes. A normal book looks like this, like book paper. I'm not very clever when it comes to words. Can you see that? It's very harsh, um, but it's obviously just the publisher. But I'm very happy that I've now got a nice selection of Christmas books. They're all pretty much brand new. And look at the spines, beautiful. So that is everything that I picked up secondhand. I hope you all really enjoyed this video. I am so chuffed with everything that I picked up. I feel like I've won the lottery because I've got some really great things. I would say I spent less than 25 pounds on all of that and I think I've done really well. I am now addicted to charity shops. I'm going again tomorrow with a friend and I'm going again the next day with a friend and then I'll give it a rest. I just love books. I love books so much. I'm gonna wrap it up now because I've been rambling for a long time. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you shop in charity shops, what you would buy, what you wouldn't buy. I personally wouldn't buy clothes. I don't know why, because I can just wash them, but I just wouldn't. But games, children's books, and books for myself, I'm sold. So leave me a comment, let me know how you feel about this. Let me know if you like this concept of video, because if you do, I might do like one a month, which is quite bad for bank balance. But yeah, if you like seeing like my secondhand buys, let me know. Sure, I'll have enough stuff to show you again next time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.